స్పిరిట్ ఆఫ్ సద్గురునాథన్ ఈజ్ హోలీనెస్ మహారణ్యం శ్రీ శ్రీ మురళీధర స్వామీజీ బర్వింగ్ డౌన్ టు పొన్ను గురువాయరప్పన్ విఆర్ ఇన్ ఫ్రైడే హియర్ ఐమ్ ఇన్ ద వెస్ట్ కోస్ట్ టుడే విచ్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ పిఎం హియర్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఇట్స్ సిక్స్ థర్టీ ఏఎం అండ్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టడీ నారాయణ్యం క్యాంటూ నంబర్ ఎయిటీ టూ సో లెట్ అస్ బిగిన్ శ్రీకృష్ణాయ పరబ్రహ్మణే నమ ప్రద్యుమ్నోరమిణేయ సకలు తమ కళా శంబరేణాహృదస్తం హత్వా సహాప్తో నిజపురం అహరద్రుక్మి కన్యాం చన్య తత్పుత్రో దానిరుద్ధో గుణనిధి రోచనా రుక్ని పౌత్రీ తత్రోద్వాహే గదస్వం యవది ముసలినా రుక్మి అపి ద్యూత ప్రద్యుమ్నో రుక్మిణేయ సకలు తవ కళ శంబరేణా హృదస్తం అత్వారత్య సహాప్తో నిజపురం అహరత్ రుక్మి కన్యాం చన్య తత్పుత్రో దానిరుద్ధో గుణనిధి రవద్రోచన రుక్మి పౌత్రీ తత్రోద్వాహే గదస్వం న్యవది ముసలినా రుక్మి అపి ద్యూత వైదీ అండ్ భగవాన్ వర్ మ్యారీడ్ ఇన్ సెవెంటీ నైన్ రైట్ దేర్ సన్ ఇస్ ప్రద్యుమ్న ప్రద్యుమ్నో రుక్మిణేయ సన్ ఆఫ్ రుక్మిణి ఈవెన్ వెన్ హీ వాస్ స్టిల్ ఇన్ ద న్యూ బోర్న్ బేబీ లెస్ దెన్ టెన్ డేస్ ఓల్డ్ హీ వాస్ కిడ్నాప్డ్ బై అన్ అసుర శంబరేణా హృదస్తం this prajumna is also partial incarnation of bhagavan sakalu tava kala is a kala avatara and he was kidnapped by an asura shambara in the when he was merely even an infant and then shambara he thought it was his enemy but then he just threw him in the uh, ocean and then a big fish swallowed this baby then somebody caught the fish and then they took it to the palace and when in the kitchen when they are cutting open the fish they found a child and so the child was um, there and a, a lady named mayavati was working in that kitchen she started taking care of this child and the child started growing up slowly in, in with her in shambara's palace itself after some months passed narada came narada came and told her mayavati you are uh, rati from the previous birth and this is kamadeva from the previous birth pradyumna he was burnt by lord shiva in the previous birth when he disturb the penance so then he is reborn as pradyumna varharpana he is very handsome like our bhagavan krishna and uh, he married uh, then rati devi actually here she is born now and raising him as though she is a mother then narada said you both are really rati and kamadeva from last birth then rati uh, approach uh, and then pradyumna the child he was confused and she said we are both husband wife from the last birth and then pradyumna married her rati and came to came back to dwaraka nijapuram aharat rukmi and then when pradyumna came back after many years rukmini devi is so uh, you know happy and uh, her long lost son first son was born and he was born so yes she has been praying for so many years then today she came he came back and rukmini devi is praying to mother durga and all are happy to see bhagavan he looks so beautiful like bhagavan himself then they all receive pradyumna and rati then pradyumna also as kings can marry you know more than one he married also rukmini's daughter rukmini's mother rukmini's brother right 
he married her also then they had a son called aniruddha aharat rukmi kanyam cha dhanyam tat putro da aniruddho aniruddha was born for them so aniruddha is krishna's grandson guna niriravah rochana rukmi pautri aniruddha mari rochana they all marry in the relations so he married rukmi's granddaughter rochana and then bhagavan also went to the wedding and they celebrated in a grand way so krishna stan pradyumna pradyumna san aniruddha got married then in that marriage they do dyut krida as we all know in the mahabharata the game of dice is, is a big deal for the kshatriya it's a, it's a way of entertainment and if you are given an invitation for a game of dice you do not refuse as a kshatriya dharma to you know play and like that we know how shakuni um, cheated and they uh, you know uh, took away everything from the pandavas like that here rukmi was also playing and balram ji was there balram was playing the di- game and then during the game a fight started and balarama killed rukmi remember that day balram ji said don't kill rukmi when krishna was trying to kill him right there when he was stopping him from abducting rukmini right and that day balram said don't kill now today balram ji only killed him and when there was a, a fight during the dhuta vairat so that is all those stories in the first shloka then we come to the story of banasura and how is aniruddha connected with this story we'll see so banasura is a great devotee of lord shiva he has performed so much tapas he is also the grandson of mahabali and so this banasura has done so much tapas that lord shiva really loved, likes him is a great devotee of lord shiva and even indra and other devatas they do pranam to banasura first so that much power he has banasya sa bali sutasya is the son of bali so banasya sa bali sutasya sahasra baho maheshwarasya mahida duhita kilosha kotpautramenam aniruddha madrashta purvam स्वप्नेनु भूय भगवन निरहातुराभूत बाणस्य सा बलि सुतस्य सहस्रबाहो हो माहेश्वरस्य महिदा दुहिता किलोषा तत्पौत्रमेनम अनिरुद्धम अदृष्टपूर्वम स्वप्नेनु भूय भगवन निरहातुराभूत पुरा ही हैज वर्शिप लॉर्ड शिवा एंड शिवा हैज ब्लेस्ड हिम so much then he has thousand arms and uh, lord shiva is uh, guarding his place like that he has thousand arms and he plays mridanga for the for lord shiva and for the dance and he is extremely um, you know blessed so sahasra baho maheshwarasya mahida duhita kilosha he has a daughter named usha that usha she had a dream in the dream she saw a very beautiful handsome person and she is you know fallen in love with him and she wants to marry him but they don't know but she does not not know who he is where he is so her friend chitraleka she draws all the pictures of the very beautiful people at that time and then it happens to be aniruddha so bana's daughter usha started uh, loving aniruddha who is krishna's grandson so tatpautramenam aniruddham adrishta purvam even though without seeing sapne anubhuya is only seen in dream and then she says i want to marry him only like that viraha tura bhuso yogin yati eva kushala kalu chitra leka chitra leka is 
no drawing all the pictures for her yoginya diva she is a yogini yogic powers yoginya diva kushala khalu chitra leka tasya sakhi vilikadi taruna ashesha tatra niruddha mushaya viditam nishaya aneshta yoga balado bavado nikeda de yoginya diva kushala khalu chitra leka tasya sakhi vilikadi taruna ashesha tatra niruddha mushaya viditam nishaya aneshta yoga balado bavado nikeda um, banasura's daughter usha her friend is chitraleka she has yogic powers she is very ativa kushala she is very talented very skilled the chitraleka her friend she drew the draw the uh, she started drawing the pictures of all the young men pilikati taruna ashesha tatra aniruddham from there um, she could identify aniruddha when she showed all the pictures of all the young people then she showed uh, aniruddha this the one this the one then usha said i will he is krishna's grandson i will bring him like that she went to she just flew over there and just uh, lifted aniruddha and brought him over here to the palace to bana sura's palace and took her took him to the women's quarters so bhavado nikeda then aniruddha and usha were living there kanya pure daitaya sukhamara mandam chainam kathanchana babandu shi sarva bandhau shri narado tata dudanda duranda roshaihi tam tasya shonita puram yadu bhinya rundha kanya pure daitaya sukhamara mandam chainam kathanchana babandu shi sarva bandhau shri narado tata tadudanda duranda doshaihi tam tam tasya shonita puram yadu bhinya rundha kanya pure daitaya sukham aramantam aniruddha and usha they were uh, you know living together didn't get married yet and then some people in the palace saw signs of pregnancy in usha and they reported to bana sura bana sura he tied up aniruddha chainam kathanchana babandushi sarvabandhau so bana sura he has 1000 hands and his uh, great devotee but he was also having very deep uh, uh, pride and then he says to one day to lord shiva there's no one worthy of uh, having a fight with me i am so powerful here i am itching for battle with my thousand hands i don't see a suitable opponent for me bana sura with lot of pride one day said like this then shiva said oh okay so now he said he thought too much pride has come and time to you know give him a lesson so he said yes yes there is somebody who is going to take care of that bana don't worry like that there was already you know shiva's plan so here when bana sura tied up aniruddha narada came and told narada went to dwaraka and told krishna and all the wives that aniruddha has been captured and uh, kept in bana sura's palace so bhagavan and all the balram everybody went there so shri narada ta tadudanda durandaro roshaihi tam tasya shonida puram yadu binya rundha the yadavas went and attacked bana's place so there's a fight between yadavas and the army of bana sura yadavas are invincible no one can touch them they have become so powerful even in mahabharata yuddha you see krishna is there in every step for the pandavas so nobody could touch them even though their army is weaker but krishna was there so they no they couldn't be defeated here krishna's uh, yadu vamsha so the yadu vamsha is invincible nobody can vanquish 
So the Yadu army goes and fights with Bana Sura army. That is all this loka. Puri Bala Shaila Priya Duhitra Nadhosya Bhagavan Samam Buddha Bradai Yadu Bala Mashangam Nirurudhe Mahaprano Bano Jadidi Yuyudhani Na Yuyudhe Uha Pradhyum Nena Tvamapi Purahantra Jaghati Shri Puri Pana Shaila Priya Duhitra Nadhosya Bhagavan Samam Buddha Bradai Yadu Bala Mashangam Nirurudhe Mahaprano Bano Jhadi Dhyu Yudhani Na Yudhe Uha Pradhyum Nena Tvamapi Purahantra Jagati Shri Protecting the palace and the kingdom of Vana Suda He is protecting the city Shonita Pura is the city name Shiva is protecting and then now Yadava army has come for the Bhutagana, the Shiva's army, the Bhutagana are fighting. Samam Buddha Bradaihi Yadu Balama Shankam the Yadava fought fearlessly. Niru Rudhe and blocked them. Then Mahaprano Bano, the mighty Bala, Ghatiti Yuyudhane na Yuyudhe, he fought with Yuyudhana from the Yadavas. Then Buhav Pradhyumne na Sakshat Senapati. Muruga had to come, Guha had to come and fight with Pradyumna. Then Lord Krishna and Tvamapi, you and Purahantra, the one that God Tripurahantra, the, the Lord who destroyed the city Tripura, Tripura Dahanam Pandina and the Lord Shiva. Purahantra Jagat Yashi, Krishna fought with that, that God, Lord Shiva, who destroyed the Tripura city and the, so by battle between Bana Sura and Yuyudhana, Guha and Pradyumna and Krishna and Shiva, fierce battle started. Then Niruddha Sheshastri, our Bhagavan gets pulled into all this uh, fight. So uh, Bhagavan is telling in one place in Mahabharata, when all the um, all the Kauravas are killed except Duryodhana, Karna has been killed, Dronacharya is killed, Bhishmacharya is wounded and lying in a bed of arrows. All the 99 are dead. Only Duryodhana is left. Duryodhana is uh, hiding in the lake. Shakuni also dead. Duryodhana is uh, not to be seen and then the Kaurava Pandava five are left and Lord Krishna is with them always. So they are saying, where is du Duryodhana? Where is Duryodhana? Then they all find he is hiding in a lake and doing tapas. And then Yudhishthira calls Duryodhana, come out. It's time to fight. And so Duryodhana, he comes out. And uh, Duryodhana is still, that anger is there, hatred is there. Yudhishthira says, um, you know, we all five will attack you, but we are not going to do that. You pick anyone among us and fight with him, that is good enough. So, instead of all five going and attacking Duryodhana, Yudhishthira, always righteous person, he says, you pick anyone among us and fight with him and whoever wins will keep Hastinapura. So Krishna is saying, Are you Dishtir? Pale Toda Sochke Pachandiya Karo. You should have you should think before you say something Yudhishtir, Krishna is telling and telling is the same way Parameshwara makes promises and then you know how much I have to do to keep his promises and Krishna smiles in that episode. So, Krishna says, Yudhishthira, this Duryodhana, nobody can kill him. In the righteous way, nobody can kill him. Not Arjuna, not Bhima, not Nakul Sahadev, not you. No single person of you can kill him. 
nobody can kill him and you said like this so they didn't realize then duryodhana says okay bhima says i'll fight with you come and then which uh, ayudham you are going to use which weapon are you going to use and duryodhana says main to gadha yud karunga i will i will uh, fight with the gadha the mace and so bhima and uh, duryodhana do the gadha yud right they fight with the mace and duryodhana cannot be beat he is is laughing whenever bhima hits him is laughing more and you know say or or mar or mar mujhe kuch nahi hoga or mar like that they try so hard and uh, he is not to be beat balram is coming balram ji balram ji had gone tirtha yatra during the war and uh, he came now to see the battle between duryodhana and bhima both are his shishya the moment balram ji came aap mujhe aashirwad doge balram ji says i cannot give you vijay bhava i cannot tell you bhima says when bhima is fighting he says i cannot tell you either then okay you please watch and both we are going to fight like that balram ji is watching krishna is watching pandavas are watching and this gadha yudh between bhima and duryodhana no no way duryodhana will die remember that gandhari had also blessed duryodhana to when duryodhana he told her she told him you please have bath and you come without any clothes and i will open my eyes and i will look at you and by my energy i will bless you and no you will not die please come without any clothes gandhari amma has said when duryodhana came out of the river after pay bathing who came there krishna krishna came are duryodhan did you forget your kaupina what if somebody saw you they'll make fun of you like this krishna took duryodhana got a uh, shy so he covered his um, uh, thighs with the kaupin then he goes and the moment gandhari sees Uh, see, you made a mistake, Duryodhana. Now, but anyway, nothing could be done. But she blessed him that wherever he hits, anywhere else, nothing will happen to Duryodhana. Bhima keeps hitting shoulders, back, chest, everywhere. It's not dying. And Balram is watching. Bhima is uh, his sister. Duryodhana is his sister. then krishna is telling it is still uh, arjuna please tell him remind bhima of his uh, shapath what did he say when draupadi was pulled and disrobed he, he slapped his thighs and said come sit here right he he told hit his thighs and say come and sit here and then what did bhima say i take a vow that i will break your thighs in the battle remember krishna is telling arjuna usko remind him reminding him of his tapas of his promise krishna says nahi nahi aisa kaise hoga this is not allowed in the battle when you are doing the gadha yud you cannot do hit below the uh, below the waist that's against the code i am not telling krishna arjuna is telling krishna na jevar Krishna has to work again and again. The Gadha is going. Krishna is looking at Bhima, and then he reminded him. He hit. He is hitting his thighs to it. Krishna did. How much Krishna did for the Pandava? When Bhima saw that, he remembered. He remembered, and then, then he hit the thighs. Then Duryodhana fell. Again, he hit in the thigh. That was it. That was the end. Balram was furious. Balram is saying, "How dare you do this, Krishna? You made them do uh, out uh, without, uh, you know, transgressing the code of war, and you made him hit." 
I'm very ashamed of you, Krishna. Balram and Krishna start fighting. Balram start fighting with Bhima. Bhima, I'm very disappointed that you are my Shishya. Uh, you have what you have done. I'm very ashamed to call you my Shishya. Duryodhana, I'm proud of you. Then Krishna reminds, Redauji, don't you remember all the Anyay Duryodhan has done? Don't you remember how they cheated him on the Dut Yudh uh, Dhyutam game? How they cheated him? Don't you remember how Draupadi was dragged in the in the Sabha and Bhattisrok? Don't you remember those Anyay? When war started, Arjuna and Duryodhana came to you, Balram, and said, please help us. Balram ji said, no, I'm not going to take part in the war. And then you went on Tirtha Yatra. Krishna says, Tirtha Yatra Langadadi is Dharma Yuddham. This, this Yuddham is the Tirtha Yatra. You cannot escape a Yuddha and go for Tirtha Yatra, this Dharma Yuddham. Please, uh, you cannot escape at that time and now come and give your opinion. So, Krishna Balrama started arguing, then Balram says, okay. Then Krishna says, forgive me, but that is how it is. This Dharma Yuddha, only Dharma will be. Then Balramji leaves. Then see how much Krishna has to do to fulfill, to protect the Dharma. Because that is what he said. Yudhishthira, you tell, they are not doing. Yudhishthira just makes a word. You pick any one of us and you will. They didn't win by. Uh, you know, just by their uh, talent, uh, their skill, they won because Krishna was there. Anala, Yadava army, Krishna. Shiva, um, Krishna, um, opposite team, Liya Varuva. In the life, they both come in opposite team. And then there is Dharma Yuddha. Like Ravana was Shiva Bhakta, and our Rama had to attack Ravana. This is how all the stories are coming. So here also Shiva Bhakta Vana attacking Krishna's son. Right? So Bhagavan to protect Dharma, to protect his Bhakta, to what extent he goes in every Katha that is what we are learning. So here when the fight is intense, Vana Sura is fighting but Yadava army is invincible. So Niruddha Shesha Astri Mumuhushi Tava Astri Nagirishi Druta Bhuta Bhita Pramatha Kula Veera Pramadita Paras Kandat Skanda Kusuma Sharabana Ischa Sachiva Thakum Bhandu Bhandam Navamiva Palena Shubhibhidi Niruddha Shesha Astri Mumuhushi Tava Astri Nagirishi Druta Bhuta Bhita Pramatha Kula Veera Pramadita Paras Kandat Skanda Kusuma Sharabana Ischa Sachiva Thakum Bhandu Bhandam Navamiva Balena Shubhibhidi Shiva's army is defeated. The Bhuta Ganas, they cannot um, they cannot face the Yadava because they are so powerful. So the Yadavas defeated all of them. Then Guha was fighting with Pradyumna. Guha um, was defeated. Pradyumna defeated Guha. Pradyumna is also another Amsha of Guha only. Um, so Pradyumna defeated Guha. Then Balramji defeated Kumbanda. Like he is a Banda, Balramji crushed him with his fist. Sachiva Kumbando Bandam Navami Babale in Ashubi Vide Balramji killed Kumbanda, the very important minister of Bana. So all are dead important people. Then Bana Sura is left. Chapana Pancha Shatya Prasabamu Bagade Chinna Chapeta Bani Yarte Yade Sameto Jwara Patida Jwara Pati Rashanehi, this is Jwara Pati. Jwara Pati Rashanehi, Ajwari Twajwarena, Jwara Pati Rashanehi, Ajwari Twajwarena, Jani Sutwa Tadatwa, 
तव चलित जुषाम विज्वर सज्वरो गादे प्रायोन्द्ञान वंदो पिच बहुतम सा रौद्र चेष्टा हि रौद्रा चापा पंच सत्या रसभ मुपगदे छिन्न चेद बाणी व्यस्थे आदि समेदो ज्वर पदिदशन अज्वरी ज्वरे न कृष्णा Bhanasura's mother came and fell at the feet of Krishna and prayed, Please spare my son. And so Bhanasura took the chance and he ran away. And he ran away and again he came back. He came back with a big army. In the meantime, Krishna and Shiva are fighting. Wow! And Bhagavan put Mati Vita Bhaktal Pere. They are always giving trouble to the Bhagavan. So, Chabana Panja Satya Prasabha Mupagade Chinna Chabeda Bani Then, Bhagavan, uh, the Shaiva fever came from the uh, Shiva's side. Shiva released the Shaiva Jwara. Shaiva Jwara was the intense heat. He has three head and three legs. And he is the personification of intense fever. He is coming and attacking. ओ भगवान रिलीज द वैष्णव फीवर त्वज्वरे न अज्वरी त्वज्वरे न उनोड फीवर वैष्णव ज्वरम कूलिंग इफेक्ट सो उरपकम द आर्मी इज फीलिंग इंटेंस हीट देन सडन कोल्ड देन हीट देन कोल्ड देन हीट देन कोल्ड दे आर सफरिंग लाइक दिस द शैव ज्वरा इज सफरिंग नो शैव ज्वरा इज सफरिंग वन मोमेंट हीट वन मोमेंट कोल्ड वन मोमेंट हीट वन मोमेंट कोल्ड द शैव ज्वरा हैड नो वेयर टू टर्न So Shaiva Jwara fell at the feet of Bhagavan and uh, Vaishnava Jwara and asked for forgiveness. So that is this shloka. So when Shaiva Jwara was uh, like this conquered by Vaishnava Jwara, Bhagavan blessed and then Krishna said, whoever remembers this episode of Bhana Sura, the Shaiva Jwara will not affect him. So that fever uh, many of our gurujis have told us whenever we have unexplained fever we should chant this chapter so like this the bhagavan uh, crushed the vaishnava uh, shaiva jwara and helped the army then again bana sudava attack pandar apo jnani stutva dadatva thava charita jusham vidvaram sajvaro gade दत्पोषाद निर्लोनाशेषदोषं अश्वत्थमाशिवक्तरी five uh, pandava putra right and then he released the brahmastra in uttara's uh, garbha and then bhagavan saved 
that baby parikshit right so again there also krishna shiva fight ashwatthama bhagavan was so angry with ashwatthama he says you will never have a rest for a no, until the end of time you will be wandering aimlessly all alone repenting for this sin and earning for empathy and love until the end of time without any relief like this bhagavan um, you know cursed ashwatthama ashwatthama se mujhe mere shap se mukt kijiye vasudev he said this is your prayas chitta is the only way ho so, ashwatthama is the most condemned even more than duryodhana ashwatthama bhagavan did not forgive so even his chiranjeevi but it's not worth living like this but he cannot die he cannot die he has to suffer till the end of time chulu krishna said so like this the um, here for bana sura bhagavan shiva is coming and praying for his devotee bhagavan said i will spare him i'll cut off all his arms and only leave two so that he can still play tabla for you and this way his pride is humbled so bhagavan says moreover he is my prahlada's uh, lineage i cannot kill him because i promise prahlada 21 generations i will not kill so i won't kill him i'll spare him with two arms like this bhagavan blessed bana bana sura is thanking bhagavan and then usha and aniruddha are brought back to dwaraka so uktva tat dattamano nija pura bhagava anirudda sahoshah nand shloka is i must have told 100 times in class very beautiful i my favorite muhustava chakram varunamajayo nanda harani yamam balani gau devadahana pani anila sakham vidhim vatsaste ye tirishami manasya samare ibho vishotkarshi tadayam avataro jayadite muhustava chakram varunamajayo nanda harani yamam balani dau davadahana pani anila sakam vidhim vatsaste ye tirishami manasya samare ibho vishotkarshi tadayam vishotkarshi tadayam avataro jayadite tava chakra many times this uh, krishna avatar is most glorious it is showing that every devata bhagavan has vanquished in the krishna avatar all the gods are under krishna that is what is showing muhustava chakra again and again bhagavan had battle with indra and bhagavan wins especially krishna avatar govardhan leela when indra sent the torrential rain bhagavan lifted the govardhan parbat and protected the varjavasi and indra came and apologized so bhagavan is victorious over indra varuna majayo nanda harane varuna bhagavan captured nand gopa nand baba one day and bhagavan went to varuna loka and then brought back nand baba and varuna bhagavan did pranam to krishna so bhagavan is krishna is victorious over varuna bhagavan yamam balani dau he went to the abode of yama bhagavan went and brought the guru's son who had already died 12 years ago bhagavan went to yamaloka and brought back the dead son and gave back to guru as dakshina and so he is bhagavan shows he is powerful over yama also davadahana paniya nilasakam when he consumed a forest fire uh, bhagavan when he swallowed the forest fire itself and saved the rajavasi he showed he is powerful over agni devata then vidhimvat saste in the brahma mohana leela when bhagma ji was um, hiding all the children bhagavan did he sown srishti and showed brahma ji that his srishti is uh, you know he can do everything in a trice 
ब्रह्मा जी वॉज प्राइड वॉज हम्बल्ड एंड ही डिड प्रणाम सो विदिम वस्ते भगवान इज मोर पावरफुल ओवर ब्रह्मा जी देन ही आर इन दिस स्टोरी इति शमीह बाणस्य समरे इन दिस स्टोरी ऑफ बाणा सुरा भगवान वांक्वेस्ट शैव ज्वरा एंड शोड ही इज पावरफुल ओवर शिवा दिस अवतारा इट इज मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल वी बाउ डाउन टू दिस कृष्ण भगवान इबो विश्वोत्कर्षी सेक्सल्स ऑल अंदर अवतार ऑल इन द गॉड्स इबो विश्वोत्कर्षी तदयम अवतारो जय दीते देन दिस इज स्टोरी ऑफ मृगा वेरी स्मॉल कंडेंस्ड इन नारायणियम दुर्जदुषा कृकला स वपुरधर मृगनृपम त्रिदिवालयमापय निजजने द्विजभक्ति मनुक्तवा उपदिशन पवनेश्वर पाहिमा द्विजरुषा कृकला स वपुरधर मृगनृपम त्रिदिवालयमापय निजजने द्विजभक्ति मनुक्तवा उपदिशन पवनेश्वर धर्मसंगणमेंट फॉर इट so he became a krikalasa a chameleon but in krishna avatara he was found by the vrajava uh, uh, by the yadavas then bhagavan went and rescued him and he got his original form and bhagavan redeemed him so it shows to show the importance of serving brahmanas dvija bhakti anuttamam bhagavan upadishan bhagavan has so much respect for the veda brahmanas because they are protecting the vedas apo bhagavan will not tolerate anyone knowingly or unknowingly uh, cheating a brahmana so to as to prove and establish that teaching bhagavan showed this lesson also like this dvija bhaktim anuttama upadishan bhagavan gave this teaching through this charitra so Hey Guru Arpa, we are narrating your lovely leelas. Please bless us like this. Our Narayana Bhattadri offers eighty second canto. Namo Shri Krishna, Yavara Brahmani Namaha. Sandra Ananda Va Bodhat Magamanu Bhavidam. Kala Desha Va Dibhyam Nirmuktam Nitya Muktam. Nigama Shada Sahasre Na Nirbhasya Manam. Aspastam Drishta Matre. पुनरुपुरुषात्मक ब्रह्म तत्व तत्वादी साक्षा गुरुपवन पुरी अंत भाग्यम जनाना भाग्यम भगवत गुण चल कड़चुदेक्स्ट महेश्वर निषायादारुखमंद 
ಸೈನಂ ಕಥಂಚನ ಬಂಧುಷಿ ಶರ್ವಬಂಧೋ ಶ್ರೀನಾರದೋಕ್ತ ತದುದಂಧ ದುರಂಧರೋಷೈ ತ್ವಂ ತೋಣಿತ ಪುರಂ ಯದು ಭಿನ್ಯರುಂದ ಪುರೀ ಪಾಲ ಶೈಲ ಪ್ರಿಯ ದುಹಿ ತ್ರಿನಾಥೋಸ್ಯ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸಮಂಭೂತವ್ರಾಧೈ ಯದು ಬರಮ ಶಂಖಂ ನಿರುಧಿ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಾಣೋ ಬಾಣೋ ಝಡಿದಿ ಯುಯುಧಾನೇನ ಯುಯುಧೇ ಗುಹ ಪ್ರದ್ಯುಮ್ನೇನ ತ್ವಮಿ ಪುರಹಂದ್ರ ಜಗಡಿಷೇ ನಿರುದ್ಧಾಶೇಷಾಸ್ತ್ರೇ ಮುಮುಘುಷಿತವಾಸ್ತ್ರೇಣ ಗಿರಿಷೇ ಧೃದಾಭೂತ ಭೀತ ಪ್ರಮತ ಕುಲವೀರ ಪ್ರಮದಿತ ಪರ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಕುಸುಮ ಶರಬಾಣೈಶ್ಚ ಸಚಿವ ಸ ಕುಂಭಾಂಡೋ ಬಾಂಡಂ ನವಮಿವ ಬಲೇನಾಶು ಬಿಬಿದೆ ಚಾಪಾನಂ ಪಂಚಶತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಸಭ ಮುಪಗದೆ ಚಿನ್ನ ಚಾಪೇತ ಬಾಣೆ ವ್ಯರ್ಥೇಯಾದೆ ಸಮೇದೋ ಜ್ವರ ಪತಿರಶನೈ ಅಜ್ವರಿ ತ್ವಜ್ವರೇಣ ಜ್ಞಾನೀ ಸ್ತುತ್ವಾ ತದತ್ವಾ ತವ ಚರಿತ ಜುಷಾ ಬಿಜ್ವರಂ ಸಜ್ವರೋ ಗಾದೆ ಪ್ರಾಯೋ ದಜ್ಞಾನವಂದೋಪಿ ಚಹುತಮಸಾರೌದ್ರಚೇಷ್ಟಿರೌದ್ರ ಬಾಣಂ ನಾನಾಯುಧೋಗ್ರಂ ಪುನರಪಿ ಪತಿ ದರ್ಪದೋಷಾದ್ವಿಧನ್ವನ್ ನಿರ್ಲೋನಾಶೇಷ ದೋಷ ಸಪದಿ ಬುಬುದುಷಾ ಶಂಕರೇಣೋಪಗೀತ ತತ್ವಾಚಾಶಿಷ್ಟ ಬಾಹುದ್ವಿಧಯ ಮುಭಯದೋ ನಿರ್ಭಯ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯ ತಂ ಮುಕ್ತ ತತ್ತಮಾನೋ ನಿಜ ಪುರಮಗಮ ಸಾನಿರುದ್ಧ ಸಹೋಷ ಮುಹುಸ್ತಾವಚಕ್ರ ಪರುಣಮಜಯೋ ನಂದಹರಣೆ ಯಮಂ ಬಾಲೀದ ದವದಹನ ಪಾನೆ ಅನಿಲ ಸಖಂ ವಿಧಿ ವತ್ಸೇ ಗಿರಿಶಮಿಹ ಬಾಣಸ್ಯ ಸಮರೇ ವಿಭೋ ವಿಶ್ವೋತ್ಕರ್ಷಿ ತದಯಮವತಾರೋ ಜಯದಿ ನಿಜಋಷಾ ಕೃಕಲಾಸವಬುರ್ಧರ ನೃಗ ನೃಭಂ ತ್ರಿದಿವಾಲಯಮಾಪಯನ್ ನಿಜ ಜನೇ ದ್ವಿಜ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮನುತ್ತಮ ಉಪದಿಶನ್ ಪವನೇಶ್ವರ ಪಾಹಿ ಮಾಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣೆ ನಮಃ